That story, the bloody arrest of a UVA student outside a popular campus hangout. And uh, Jarita Patterson is live in Charlottesville with the latest. Jarita? Yes, a moment ago, well over a thousand UVA students from all backgrounds. They were smack dab in the middle of the college amphitheater. They were demonstrating following the off campus arrest of a UVA student who was left bloody. Now, this incident has sparked action not only here on campus, but really across the Commonwealth. So much so, Governor Terry McAuliffe has stepped in. Just as the sun was going down Wednesday evening, UVA students by the dozen showing up to stand in solidarity for one of their own. To suffer with and alongside, Lord, instead of having a simple answer. To better understand why the dozens, then hundreds of UVA students prayed before walking and eventually packing into this ballroom, you have to go back to the wee hours of Wednesday morning. For his face to literally be bashed in by concrete. As there's no words to describe that. Perhaps the words are hard to form, but students say these pictures and videos say a lot. His face continued to be smashed into pavement. The he is third year UVA student Martise Johnson, who is being arrested Wednesday morning by Virginia Alcoholic Beverage Control Agent just outside this pub. Johnson was left bloody and needed 10 stitches to close his wound, a wound that cuts deep for UVA president Dr. Teresa Sullivan. I felt it in my stomach. I just seeing the blood run down that young man's face. You know, I, I, I wanted to know what happened. So much so, Dr. Sullivan personally called Governor Terry McCullough. I, I'm glad he responded. Launching an investigation to determine whether excessive force was used. Meanwhile, these students with Martise Johnson in attendance poured into UVA's amphitheater with high hopes. I hope we do something that's going to actually force people to change. And that desire for change is center stage. Injustice of any kind is an issue for all of UVA. As students rally behind one of their own. So a spokesperson for Virginia ABC released a statement saying that they would provide any assistance requested by Virginia State Police who's overseeing the investigation. As for the agents involved, they have been placed on administrative duties during the course of the investigation. And as for Martise Johnson, he was uh, charged with resisting arrest and public intoxication. For more of the details on really what has become a convoluted story, you can visit our WTVR app. Working for you in Charlottesville this evening, Jarita Patterson, CBS 6 News. Back to you guys. Thank you, Jarita. And as Jarita said, the effects of Mark T. Johnson's arrest are being felt even here in Richmond. Yeah, dozens of students on VCU's campus gathered tonight to protest. We have to fight back! We have to fight back! Students from Black Action Now marched down Broad Street, at times blocking traffic. The group says they believe Johnson was attacked by ABC officers because he is black, and they wanted to rally in support for him tonight.